Hi, this is Vijay Kumar from Nourish Technologies. In uh, today's session, I am going to explain about data dictionary. What is data dictionary is? So, what is data dictionary? An Oracle, Oracle database not only stores data, but it also stores metadata. Okay, Oracle database not only stores data, but it also stores data definitions. So, data definitions or you can say data structures or you can say metadata. It not only stores data, but also stores so data definitions, data structure and metadata. What that includes? So, this data definition includes information about users, information about tables, information about constraints, information about columns. So, information about each and every object stored in Oracle database. So, uh, one of the like uh, the best feature of Oracle is so storing uh, data definitions. So, what is this is called? This is called self describing nature and how this data dictionary is stored. In, in database, this data dictionary is stored in the form of tables. So, everything is stored in the form of tables only whether it is a data or data definition. So, stored in, in the form of tables. If something is stored in Oracle database, it is stored in the form of tables. So, these data definitions are also stored in the form of tables and those tables are called system tables or data dictionary tables. Okay? So, this data dictionary is also stored in the form of tables. Those tables are called data dictionary tables and system tables. Uh, like for example, Suppose here there is a table. So, the table is called user underscore all underscore users, all underscore users. And what is this stores? This stores information about uh, users. So, users, users created in Oracle database. So, if you want to see the users list and go to all underscore users table. So, suppose I want to see the list of users created in Oracle database then I will go to this table all underscore users. See for example, just see this describe all underscore users. So, what is this? So, when you describe this all underscore users, it is showing the structure of this all underscore users table. It is showing the structure of all underscore users. So, in this one column is username, one column is user id, one column is created, one is username one is user id, one is created. Suppose, I want to see the list of usernames in Oracle database. So, like for example, there is a customer table in that customer name is there. I want to see the list of customers. Then you write a query like select a customer name from customers table. Similarly, I want to see the list of usernames. Then select username from all underscore users. Then see select username from all underscore users. What is this query gives? This query gives the list of users in Oracle database. So, one user is called, one user is HR, one user is sys, one user is system like it is showing the list of users in Oracle database. And what is this all underscore users is? This is data dictionary table. So, this is data dictionary tables or you can say data dictionary views. Okay, then. So, whenever you want to see the list of users, then go to this table. Okay. Then, so there is one more, there is one more, what is that is user underscore tables, user underscore tables and what it stores? It stores the list of tables created by user. So, whenever you create a table, so that information is copied to this table, user underscore tables. So, this table stores information about uh, tables created by user. So, when any when when a user creates a table immediately that information is copied to this table. So, and this is also one of the data dictionary views or data dictionary table or data dictionary view. So, I want to see structure of this table to see the structure of this table user underscore tables user underscore tables. So, what this is showing? This is showing the columns of user underscore tables. 
because when you describe EMP table, it will show the columns of EMP table. Similarly, when you describe user underscore tables, it will show the columns of this user underscore tables. In this one column name is table name. So, I want to see the list of tables. I want to see the list of tables. I want to see the list of tables created by user. So, then uh, write a query. Suppose, I want to see the list of tables name starts with E. Then we will write a query like this. Select table name from user underscore tables where table name like E percentage. Select table name from user underscore tables where table name like E percentage. So, what is this query returns? This query returns the list of tables created by user. So, there is only one table. What is the table is EMP underscore load. So, this table name starts with E. Then and these tables are managed by Oracle like customer table, sales table, products table, those tables are managed by users, but whereas this table is managed by Oracle. So, managed by Oracle means, so uh, data inserted into these tables and the data updated and the data deleted, so by Oracle. Oracle will insert the data and Oracle will update the data and Oracle delete the data from these tables. So, we cannot manage, we cannot manipulate, only Oracle manages this table. So, uh, suppose when a new table is created, a record is inserted into this table. When table name changes, a record is updated. When you drop the table, a record is deleted from this table. When a new, new table is created, a record is inserted. When table name changes, a record is updated and when you drop a table, a record is deleted. So, that is why I am saying, so this table is managed by Oracle, Oracle will insert, Oracle will update, Oracle will delete the data. Then, so, you cannot insert, you cannot update, we cannot delete. So, because for users, it is read only. So, all the data dictionary tables, all data dictionary views are read only, we cannot manipulate them. There is one more user underscore, user underscore tab underscore columns. So, what is this is, this table stores the list of columns in a uh, table. So, what is this table stores? This table stores the information about columns declared in a table. So, this stores information about columns declared in a table. Like for example, see this, describe user underscore tab underscore columns, user underscore tab underscore columns. So, you see the first two columns one column name is table name, one column name is column name. So, table name stores name of the table and column name stores name of the column. The table name stores name of the table and column name stores name of the column. So, for example, suppose here I created one table. For example, I created one table. I created one table EMP and the table is created with 5 columns. I created one table called EMP and the table is created with 5 columns and how the data stored in user underscore tab underscore columns. In this one column is table name, one column is column name. So, what is the table name is EMP and what is the column name is EMP ID, what is the table name is EMP, what is the column name is E name, what is the table name is EMP, what is the column name is job and what is the table name is EMP, column name is sal. And the table name is EMP, column name is height date, something like this. I created one EMP table with 5 columns. So, the moment you create the table, immediately the information is copied to this table. And what this table stores? This table stores information about tables and this table stores information about columns. So, after creating the table, how many records inserted into user underscore tables? One record. And how many records inserted into user underscore tab underscore columns depends on number of columns. If the table contains 5 columns, 5 records inserted into this table. If the table contains 10 columns, 10 records inserted into this table. Okay. So, this table stores information about columns declared in a table. So, what are these? So, all these are called data dictionary views. Okay. Then, next one more is there user underscore constraints, user underscore constraints. What is this table stores? This table stores information about columns constraints declared in a table. 
this table stores information about constraints declared in a table. So, you create a table and in, in the table you declare primary key, foreign key, not null, check consigned. Okay. So, when you declare the consign, so that consigns information is copied to this table. The table information is copied to user underscore tables and columns information is copied to user underscore tab underscore columns and consigns information is copied to user underscore consigns. Okay. Next, suppose there is a table, what is the table is user underscore views and what is this table stores? This table stores information about views created by user. So, when you create a view that information is copied to user underscore views and there is a table user underscore sequences and what is this stores? This stores information about sequences created by user. So, when you create a sequence that sequence information is copied to this table. Next and there is a table user underscore indexes this stores information about indexes created by user and there is a table user underscore mus this stores information about materialized views created by user there is a table user underscore clusters this table stores information about clusters created by user and there is a table user underscore synonyms this table stores information about synonyms created by user there is a table user underscore source what is this table stores information about procedures functions created by user. So, in PLSQL when you create a procedure or function that information is copied to there is a table user underscore procedures. So, this stores information about packages created by user there is a table user underscore triggers and what is this table stores this table stores information about triggers created by user. So, when you create the trigger the trigger information is copied to this table next there is a table user underscore user underscore tab underscore previous underscore received and this this stores information about privileges received. So, and there is a table user underscore tab underscore previous underscore made. So, this table stores information about the privileges granted and this table stores information about the privileges received. The first table uh, this table stores information about privileges received and this stores information about privileges uh, granted. Okay. So, there are number of, but there are number of data dictionary tables. So, I have given few tables. So, so one stores information about users and this stores tables and this stores columns, this stores constraints, this stores views, this stores sequences, this stores indexes, this stores materialized views this stores clusters, this stores synonyms, this stores procedures, this stores packages, this stores triggers. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe to Narayish IT.